do here in town. Now you did the lockdown with Vince at the Riviera. Now tell us, I know you can't tell us everything that happened, but tell us like the scariest thing that night that happened. Uh, the scariest thing was what happened with Vince. Uh, we were on the seventh floor and uh, the ninth floor. We had the whole floor blocked off and there was 30 rooms there in the old, in the old part of the hotel. And all rooms were dark, everything. And we started walking and everything was fine. We weren't like sensing anything. It was just like a normal room. And we walked by and Vince kept saying this room 908, 908, 908. It was pitch black. He couldn't see anything. But he kept saying 908, 908. We thought nothing of it. We kept walking down. We investigated like a penthouse suite at the end of the hallway. Nothing happened. So we were turning back. We were going to wrap things up. And then Vince and I both stopped dead still in front of a room. And we both just started feeling this energy hit us that was just very uncomfortable. I open the door, Vince goes in, his arm starts getting numb, he can't feel his hands, his left shoulder goes numb, and I couldn't see him, but now we watch a video, it was like he was having a heart attack. And it was very scary. And my friend is the Las Vegas coroner, Mike Murphy. We called Mike Murphy and somebody in that area died of a heart attack. So I don't know if Vince was feeling that energy, but after that we were able to communicate with the spirit and actually hear this spirit communicating with us. So was, somebody had a heart attack in that? I don't know if for certain in that room, but we have 22 validated cases and actual reports of people who have died from heart attacks in that area. So whether or not Vince was picking up on that energy and feeling the pain of one of these guys, uh, it was quite, it's quite disturbing to actually watch his reaction when you see it. And it, it was really impressive. But we got a lot of great evidence. There's a lot of spiritual activity there. Now, um, are you, tell us about your, when's your album come out? Any latest news, a record label, anything? Um, we're developing that right now. I finally just got representation. So I got the guy that represents Josh Groban and the Rolling Stones, stuff like that. So we have, I got really cool. good representation. Um, so we're, we're doing that process right now, but we just finished finally the 11th track. So now the album is officially done and it'll be out probably within the next couple months. Oh, great. It's okay. really cool. It's exciting. Well, cool. First time I, I ever ghost, you know, ghosts do lyrics and music, you know? Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. You told me about that.